Hey, how you doing? I'm Russ. I'm with Nunchucka Pioneers. Hi, how you doing? I'm Russ with Nunchucka Pioneers. I've been practicing with nunchucks for 45 years. And from time to time, I've had to get a grip with uh, an understanding of advanced movement. Okay, it, it happened, it hit me in the face when I was... Uh, 18, uh, a friend of mine showed me what advanced movement was, the most advanced movement I have ever seen, and the most advanced movement that you can possibly do with nunchucks. Uh, he did it. He took a pair of nunchucks, uh, it was a little bit longer cord than this one, and he made them go in a perfect circle. Okay, it's kind of hard for me to do right now. I'm out in the shop and stuff, but I wanted to run this by you um, because uh, he did it in such a way where it was in a perfect circle and he was able to add more and more rotations each time he did it. And it kept getting faster and faster and faster. And so you can, uh, we, uh, you can easily draw from that the conclusion of the most advanced movement that you can possibly do is where the sticks are essentially orbiting each other like a binary star system would orbit each other. You know, um, where the sticks are, um, they're holding the centrifugal force of the other one pretty much equal so that your input is essentially not anything except to keep them going in that perfect circle. Okay, so movement, uh, uh, it, so, uh, the most advanced movement then that you can do would be where the nunchuck is describing a circle, you know, an orbit and your input uh, to keep it there would only be just to keep it there and what happens is uh, I watched the guy do this and he was able to continue once it once it, initially it was difficult but once he got it going it seemed to lock in place if you will I mean it would move a little bit up and down but he seemed to have no problem uh, because it kind of stabilized after he got past like about 15 revolutions, something like that, per input, or no, 15 revolutions altogether. I mean, he was just going right from uh, within a, a 30 seconds, he had it going to where it was stabilized, and then the room was getting windy. There was wind in the room. The sound started getting very loud, way louder than, uh, you know, any nunchucks that I'd ever heard. And so, um, and what I'm trying to do, get to is the description of advanced, truly advanced, the most advanced movement that you can do with nunchucks. And that is that end up move is what the guy explained to me later that what's called that's called the end up move that is the move that you do after you have done all others because there is no other way you can do it essentially you have to be able to do just about everything in order to get to this because it takes all of the, your um, mental capacity to to do this it's like almost impossible I have no I've only seen one person who could do it other than myself and I'm only uh, a total beginner at it. I don't have it all the way. So um, if I can build a new workout room, I will um, put in the hours that it takes to finish it up and be able to give you a proper demonstration is what my hopes is. But um, the true advanced movement then is movement that is dis uh, describes a perfect circle, essentially, not a perfect circle, but a cent you know, a pretty much a perfect circle. And you're able to create a vortex is what's going on there. It, it starts to build and it's, um, anyway, I'll have to go over the rest of it later, thanks. Okay. I'm just doing a video.